Marae Islands off the east coast of Tasmania. It's about an hour from Hobart to the little fishing village of Tribunna. Then it's about a 30 minute trip across Mercury Passage to this beautiful island. The whole island is a national park, World Heritage listed, has a population of just two park rangers and their two cars. It's got mountains up to 2,000 feet or 700 metres. Got beautiful old ancient blue gum forests and it's also got beautiful beaches and it's got a sense of tranquility because really there's no one else on the island apart from us. So Mariah is described as the Noah's Ark for Tasmania. When it became a national park 40 years ago, the Parks and Wildlife Service introduced a whole lot of rare and endangered animals, most of them not found outside of Tasmania. The animals are totally unafraid because it's an island sanctuary. People when they come over here are just charmed when they see animals that you don't normally don't see outside of Tasmania. To be able to walk up around amongst the animals is, is just an absolute joy for people. They've now introduced Tasmanian devils, many, many wombats. Mariah is probably one of the best places in Australia to see wombats, they're everywhere. There's also all the native birds of Tasmania, all the endemics. There's also a Cape Barren goose. It honks like a pig, beautiful big regal bird, stands about a metre tall, and they're all over the island as well. So it's a fabulous place for viewing wildlife, especially animals found only in Tasmania. So I started the Marae Island Walk in 2002. I'd been an engineer working around the world and around Australia before that. I fell in love with Tasmania. I've always been an outdoorsy person and so I approached the government that set up the business on Marae Island. Uh, we explore the island over four days. We have small groups of just 10 guests and two guides, highly intimate and personalised. The people who enjoy our beautiful walk, the people that generally want a, an active holiday, they want to learn, to see animals, to learn about the culture and the history of an area that they haven't visited before. And that's why Mariah is so beautiful for that, because we have the history and we have the wildlife and we walk the length of the island, taking in all the highlights and all the secrets of the island. There's a strong indigenous connection with the island. The Tyrodine people lived here for 20,000 years and then had all the various explorations. So many stories to tell, and really it's a microcosm of the whole of the Australian colonial era. It's an immersive experience, so we take time to look at the wildlife, look at the history, and to really take in all the charms and the hidden wonders of this beautiful island. Our guides are the local experts, they know the island really well, and they really bring the island to life. I'm really proud that we're a family-owned business. We offer a bit of good old-fashioned friendliness, hospitality and service. The guides have a passion and an enthusiasm which really becomes infectious. If they weren't doing it for pay, they'd often be out in the wilderness climbing mountains, rock climbing, bushwalking, sea kayaking. So really it's a natural extension of the things they love. They, they're proud to be Tasmanian and they just love the outdoors. And over four days, our guests really tend to adore and really appreciate our guides. They appreciate their passion and their warmth, their hard work, and they're really a large part of the whole experience. We've contributed and continue to contribute with the revegetation of the island in areas that have been overgrazed in the past. Our camps have been designed so they've got a very small footprint. We produce our own electricity from solar. We respect the earth that we walk on. We respect the culture and history of the islands. There's something romantic about coming to an uninhabited island with the history and the wildlife, the tranquility. It really is very special. There's not many places like this and it's one of the best kept secrets in Australia. We often ask ourselves, is there a better place on earth to spend four days? We think probably not. <laughs>